What's going on guys, Philly from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube with Dustin. We got an episode of this or that. Before we get into it, we got a brand new giveaway going on. So we got a that new t-shirt. <laughs> that, that was a decent toss. <laughs> we'll take uh, it. We teamed up with Rough Country to get you guys uh, any lift kit you want from them up to 2,500 bucks. If you want to check it out, we'll put more info in the links in the description. That's all you need. All right, let's jump into the video. So Keaton, hit us with the questions. Ram Rebel or Ram Power Wagon? Ooh. See, that's tough. Um, I just had recent experiences with this, and this is where I'll tell a story that Keaton won't have any footage of, so I won't really I won't elaborate on it too much. He usually puts little titles to say how, <laughs> how annoying I am of a person. Uh, drove the Rebel, drove the Power Wagon. Power Wagon was quite rough just because it's solid axle. So when it comes to actually off-roading it, we eventually aired the tires down to like 25 or 30 pounds, Ooh, okay. and it was it was better. But at like 60 pounds, how they come, uh, you know, for standard like road driving, whoa, <laughs> she was bouncy. It's nice that it comes factory with a winch. Yep, that's really cool. Um, the truck itself has lots of interior room, and all that's great. It towed really well because I messed up my car and had to tow it back. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I still think I would go with the Rebel for me and just my driving style. A little more like sporty, I guess you could say, just because it's not a 2500. Right. You know, it's a 1500 truck. Factory air suspension is really neat. Off-roading was very capable. Relatively smooth ride. Independent suspension. Yeah, I would, I would take the Rebel. I'm going the other way. Um, maybe because I don't have experience in a Rebel, but I got to drive a power wagon at Farm Tech Days a couple years ago. Yeah. And you like, they had like the road course set up and you like jumped the log and stuff and it was super cool. And I feel like you do a decent amount of towing, bringing yeah. Alex's cars all over the place. Everywhere. Where like a power wagon, it towed really nice. Correct. So if you do a lot of towing, I can totally see that. Or if you're big in recovery, uh, yep. if you have a Lexus GX, 460 or 470 and you get it stuck and then you need a power wagon to come tow you out. Are you talking to Jeremiah? Yeah. <laughs> Lifted Ford Ranger or slammed Ford Bronco? I don't know if I've ever seen a slammed Bronco before. I, You know, I don't know that I have either. What we're going to put on the screen right now is a concept of the brand new Ford Bronco R. I'm picturing that slammed and I think I could I think I could get on board with it. It's yeah. almost like, this is gonna sound terrible, but it's almost like a Ford Flex. <laughs> and I've actually seen people do decent things. I don't things. hate those, I think they're I've nice too. I've seen people do decent yeah. things. Three, five Eco Boost mm. in that as well. Correct. You know, you get platinum trim. Correct, and they make um, decent power for what they are. I think that would be very unique to mm -hmm. slam a new Bronco, and it would make people so mad. <laughs> you know, like what Jared Angry. did to his Bronco, it made people mad. Yeah. Slamming a brand new one would really make people mad. Yeah. So, if that's your goal, Give me the Bronco. Yeah, absolutely. I just want a new Bronco regardless. I honestly <laughs> think when they come out, I may strongly consider buying uh, one. Ah, you won't. If they look anything like the Bronco R, I will strongly consider buying one. That's fair. Ford, uh, I will like one for free, please. Yeah, can we get one for marketing? Just drop it off here. Yeah, at, at Custom Offsets. We'll, we'll take care of it, don't worry. $39.89 Nissan Endeavor Drive. Yep. Attention, Fuller. Yes. Send it to me. Thank you. <coughs> I hope that works. That me too. <laughs> GMC or Chevy? What you think might be a difficult question for me is an easy question, GMC. Why? Interior fit and finish. I know it's the same company, it's all GM, but GMC in the Denali trim packages, mm -hmm. I just feel like they have a better interior selection and somebody I'm sure will correct me if I'm wrong, you can probably get an LTZ you know, loaded up just well, as I was just going to say what about the high good, country. Or high country, good point, great point. But GMC Denali's um, in really anything, for, you know, from your Acadia up to your 3500, like they they just do a good job. The Yukon even is pretty mm -hmm. decent, you know. I like the GMC interior quality, and they I feel like they typically have better looking factory headlights. If you're gonna leave factory headlights, they usually have the fancy LED running options and, and all that, which you can get in a Chevy too, but. Yeah, I would agree. I, I'm gonna go that way as well. I think that they're just, especially I would say post, like 2008 to present, Yeah, I think the GMCs are leaps and bounds ahead. Yeah, before that, I think they were actually very similar. Yeah, correct. Because even the Denali trim packages of 2004 were not like that much fancier. Yeah, they were super similar to like the LTZs. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now, get some nice options. Very nice. Drag truck or drift truck? <laughs> drift truck. Yes. <laughs> uh, ironically, today when we're filming this, Climb Kana 2 came out. Um, so there's that. Mm -hmm. 
I don't need to say any more. Just put a clip of the truck right here. And that's all you need. Yeah. Yeah. There's just something about sliding a, a truck, you know. With with a bajillion and a half horsepower. Right, correct. The yeah. kind where you breathe on the throttle and it just burns. <laughs> yes. Correct. Lifted gladiator or lifted raptor? Mmm. Yeah, you don't really need to lift a raptor. Correct. Um a really nice leveling kit would get you far. Yeah, you already have 14 inches of suspension travel. Mm -hmm. the, you know, I mean, you have some clearance. And, uh, like, I wouldn't want to just put, like, a spacer lift kit on it because I feel like you're defeating the purpose of a Raptor. Yeah, but I, if you're putting a lift kit on a Jeep, I think you're increasing the capabilities. It really depends on the lift kit. If you're just a standard off-the-shelf lift kit, I don't think you do the Raptor justice. Mm -hmm. I think you're going backwards. So, I'll, for this case, I would pick the Gladiator because you could throw a nice lift on that, clear some big tires, and actually wheel it. Correct. Yeah, I would agree as well, I think. Don't do it, Jerry. Squeaky tire Don't boy. do it. You might as well just, just come, on, come on. Let her have it. No, I would agree. I think, um, yeah, I think you would, unless you're going like super in-depth suspension system, you're probably going backwards with the Raptor. It comes with, with really nice stuff from factory. That's what I mean. So, yeah. And like they reason. have, they do have Fox upgrades and stuff like that. I mean, it already has, Fox shocks on it, but you're not really going to get any taller per se. You're just right. increasing capability, cooling, dampening, that kind of stuff. Correct. Yep, I agree. We have done this question before, but now that we're post SEMA, I wanted to ask it again. Okay. okay. So, will the TIS 547 take over the TIS 544 spot? Jared thinks so. I think so. I don't think so. You don't think so? I think the 544 has such a head start mm -hmm. uh, in the market that it just won't slow down. 547 is really nice looking wheel, but the 544 has more complexity. Therefore, it is more interesting to me. But there are some people out there that don't want that. I don't think so. I think the, the 544 is starting to dip off now. And it's a great wheel, and it always will be a great wheel, right? I mean, it, it's the wheel An of 2019. classic. Timeless. Mm. But with that being said, I think that the, the time of the 544 is coming to pass. Especially because like the 547 looks really good. I feel like there'll be a lot of people that have 544s that will sell them to you on Facebook Marketplace. Correct. And then they will buy 547s. And then next year they will buy the 553. Mm. Predicting the future there. Yeah, watch out. It's, it's happening. Would you rather travel to space with two random people or live in the 18th century and bring five people of your choice with you? Oh, I don't think you're ready for this. I want to go, I go back to the 18th century. There are very, some very select people that I would bring and we would just tear <laughs> it up. Especially if we get to retain the knowledge we have. Correct. From 2019. Today. And we'll just bring it back there and be like, <laughs> good sir, we're ready to blow your mind. <laughs> I'm just, I'm picturing you walking out of a saloon, doors open with like the bandolier and the six gun oh, on your head. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I we love it. it. Absolutely. Fuller's gonna be out there on a horse with the, uh, the old repeater one handed. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Not surprised. We're gonna be putting forces on horses. <laughs> That's another episode of This or That. Thank you, Dustin, for coming along. Really appreciate you having you here. Uh, the great to see you again. Nice to see you, uh, Talk to Betty on the way out. We'll get you a t-shirt. Perfect. I don't know what happened there. Don't but, uh, <laughs> yeah, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check us out. We'll start suspension custom .com. Boom. Peace. Somebody told me I did this wrong. I don't remember which way is the correct way. One way is offensive and one way is not. I think it's supposed to be this way. This way this... I'm super sorry. Thank you.